Hello, I'm here to reference check the Snatch Game section of Drag Race Down Under Season 1 Episode 2. The episode that featured both Minogue sisters looking around 23. Danny Minogue and Kylie Minogue. But didn't feature a category Night of a Thousand Kylie's or a Kylie song in the lip sync. Boo. Anyway, let's get down to the now infamous Snatch Game. It's time to play the Snatch Game Down Under. Queen of country music, Dolly Parton is here. Well, how did I thank you? <laughs> Mama said, oh, she ain't nothing but trash. <laughs> so I thought, that's what I want to be, Mom. <laughs> she ain't nothing but trash. Mama said, oh, she's a trash. Dolly, on a scale of nine to five. Working nine to five. What a way to make a living. How much do you hate, Jolene? I said turkey leg. Because down there in Dollywood, the lines can get so long in that Chasing Rainbows exhibition that I think if she gets a little hungry. Cindy Irwin. Cindy, I hear you're a bit of a snake handler. Yeah, I do love a good snake fluid in me now. <laughs> G'day guys, it's Bindi here at the Australia Zoo Wildlife Hospital. Blowies are just little things that are in the air, just, you know, just flap all over your face, hit it constantly, in and out of holes all the time. Lizzo is here. Girl, how you feeling? Girl, I feel good hell. Baby, how you feeling? Uh, because his breath smells like... Some bitches juice. Blame it on the juice. Gotta blame it on the goose. Gotta blame it on my juice, baby. Here it is now. Oh, oh, oh there it is. DNA RuPaul, I just took a DNA test, it turns out, can't get you out of it. I just took a DNA test, turns out, I'm a hundred percent that bitch. Queen Elizabeth II. You do know we've got something in common. Oh, what's that? We've both got an exceptional set of family jewels. <laughs> When somebody turns 100, I write them a letter. And when somebody turns 16, Prince Andrew sends them a check. <laughs> Not the one with the receding hairline, the disappointing Jim. <laughs> In fact, Megan called me the other day and said, Lizzie, what's the secret to a long life? To which I said, don't piss me off and wear a seatbelt. <laughs> Oh, Jennifer Coolidge is here. Oh, hi, bro. Now, Jennifer, are you hungry for a hot dog? Oh, yeah. I love a hot dog, especially when they're down under. <laughs> oh, my God. You look like the 4th of July. That makes me want a hot dog real bad. Jennifer Coolidge cookies. Her cookies. You girl. want a cookie? You want a cookie? <laughs> Mmm, it's so moist. Kevin O'Hara is here. Well, you know, they say, bro, you can't have all the pigeons, but when you do, they're probably Italian. <laughs> David, stop acting like a disgruntled pelican. What is your favorite season? <sighs> Awards. Oh, she has no idea if the taller baby can take on its mother or its mother's mother. Well, Michelle, I think we're communicating telepathically. Huh? Now, uh, do you have any fond memories of Little Baby Home Alone? <laughs> Kevin! <laughs> Kevin! Magda Zabanski is here. So many iconic characters. He said, Mum, what would you say if I told you I was homosexual? <laughs> right in the middle of main event. Shazza to Mum in bed. Well, it was very hard to be on that shoot, RuPaul. I love bacon, you yeah. know. The wrongly convicted Lindy Chamberlain is here tonight. The second reference this series to the 1980 tragic death of Azaria Chamberlain, a young baby who was killed by dingoes. Her parents were not believed by the media or by police and Lindy, her mum, was accused and convicted of her own child's murder. However, in later years that was overturned, both parents declared completely innocent and the tragic story inspired a 1988 film starring Meryl Streep. Has anyone seen my baby? Now this is not an opinion-based YouTube because frankly... Who cares? 
Jesus. <laughs> and while drag has a strong history in deliberate bad taste, not least in films by John Waters, I was immediately much more like these two. She that said, while I really didn't like the content of the performance, I think the performance itself was thought through and had places to go. I didn't like the content, but I think it was a better performance and better prepared than many of the other people on the panel. But it was, ugh, not nice. It's Dr. Seuss. Hello, hello, what a wonderful call. It's a pleasure to meet you, Mr. RuPaul. I've always wanted to ask you, do you like green eggs and ham? I've known a few women that have had a few frights and they told me their men smelt like old type. So that was that Snatch Game. Please do let me know what you thought of it in the comments and if indeed there's anything I missed. Um, also subscribe for more videos like this, please. I really appreciate all the support. Thank you. Say goodbye, everybody.